Hey everyone, morning. Sorry, I'm having Facebook Live issues as per usual. The signal at my house isn't very good, strong, and the glare is right on my face. Sorry. Okay. Um, good morning. I hope you're all having a great day. I wanted to jump in this morning and, um, well, I've got a little recipe to share with you, one that I haven't made before, so I'm a little bit excited to share that with you and try that as well. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about perfumes and why I no longer use the store-bought version and what I do instead, okay? So um, about, or well, it was probably about two years ago, I stopped using um, store-bought perfumes and I actually found um, my perfumes in my room the other day and they were literally gathering dust and I thought right what am I going to do with these and I ended up chucking them because I thought well I'm never going to use them again and um, yeah they were literally just sitting there gathering dust so I thought right they're gone so I use my oils now I have done for a long long time I absolutely love it they smell amazing and they offer you therapeutic benefits as well, okay? So if you're having a bit of a down day, you can put something on that's going to uplift you and make you feel good. Um, if you're feeling a little bit anxious, you can put on something nice and calming. Um, so you can adjust it to suit how you're feeling and um, what you're needing emotionally as well, okay? Um, so there's a few ways that I do it. Usually I just add my oils to my diffuser jewellery. So most of you know that I make these diffuser bracelets. Um, and I also make the necklaces as well. So what I do with these, if you've never used a diffuser bracelet before, I'll show you how to use it. Um, I've picked Elevation and Balance today. Um, I'm really drawn to these two blends together um, at the moment. I've been using them a lot this week, so I thought I'll use that as my um, example. Now, each diffuser bracelet has got the lava beads on it, okay? The black one was probably a really bad bad one to pick as an example. Um, but the lava beads are the black ones. And it's a natural stone and they have got tiny little holes in them. You can probably see, uh, might be a little bit blurry, but you can probably see they've got tiny little holes in them and that makes them very porous, okay? So when you add your essential oils to the lava beads, what will happen is the oils will soak into those tiny holes and depending on what oil or blend you use, that smell is going to hang around for hours, sometimes days. Sometimes I'll pick up my bracelet and go, oh, chia, I wore that two days ago and the smell is still there. But it will eventually fade and then you can put a brand new oil on there, okay? You don't have to have a, a different bracelet for every oil that you use, okay? So, this is how I find it is easiest to apply the oils to the bracelet. So you only need a drop or two of oil on all of those beads, okay? Don't put a drop on each one because that'll be way too much. So you need a drop or two in total. And I find that the easiest way to apply the oils to the beads is to drag it across, okay? So that's my elevation. So I've just dragged that across. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and here's my balance and just drag the drop over like that, okay? Now, that is kind of just sitting on top there, but it will start to soak into the holes. And what I do to help it along is I just roll the bracelets down my wrist like that, cover the beads in the oils, rub my other wrist over it as well, and then if there's still some excess, just apply it to your neck, clothes, wherever, and it smells absolutely amazing. Hello, I can see there's a few people watching. Hi, Miranda, love my lava beads. They're just lovely, that's awesome. Morning, Jane. Um, if you're watching, let me know what um, oils or blends you like to use as um, perfumes. I mix it up all the time. I constantly um, mix it up. I love the emotions range. Motivate is one of my favorites to use as uh, pure fume, pure fume. Um, as we call it in doTERRA world. And um, oh, I like Passion as well. That's a really lovely one, especially if you're going out at night time. Passion's a really beautiful sort of feminine smelling blend. If I'm feeling a little bit anxious, I'll always grab the Peace or Lavender Peace or Balance or something like that. So you mix it up. Go with whatever you feel like on that particular day. Now, by doing this and getting rid of your, you know, store-bought fragrances that are full of chemicals and toxins and, and nasty, nasty ingredients that can 
interrupt your body systems, affect your hormones. You're going to not only smell beautiful, but help to support your body as well, naturally with beautiful essential oils. So diffuser jewelry is one way that you can do it. Um, bracelets, if you're interested in bracelets, I have an album pinned to the top of the Facebook page. So just send me a message if you're interested in that. doTERRA also sell these beautiful diffuser necklaces as well. These are lovely. And if you happen to work in a job where you can't wear jewelry, where you can't wear sort of dangly stuff, these are great because you can tuck them into your t-shirt and you'll still smell the beautiful oils, um, but you know, it won't be sort of catching on anything. So the way that these ones work is, there's a little felt pad in here and you just um, add a drop or two of your essential oil to that, pop it back in there, there's little holes in here and the smell just wafts out, it's just beautiful. So they're available through um, doTERRA and they come with a little bottle of oil as well. I think one comes with Citrus Bliss and I'm not sure what the other one is, there's a couple of designs, so check them out, they're really nice. Um, Alright, I wanted to make, I'm going to do a recipe. Um, I'm going to make a body spray. Now this recipe is from the doTERRA blog. And um, obviously it's got some of our beautiful essential oils in it. It's also got some witch hazel. Now if this is a new bottle, I've probably got to take the thing off yet. Um, I just grabbed this from the supermarket this morning. So readily available. Um, what is it? Extracts of the witch hazel plant help soothe pores, promote clean, fresh skin while assisting moisturizer and makeup performance. Okay, so it's a natural product. Um, a gentle toner for clear, smooth skin. And what this does by adding this into our body spray, it's going to help our essential oils emulsify and disperse um, through the other ingredients. So you need some witch hazel, you need some cooled boiled water, uh, your essential oils and a little spritzer bottle. Now this is a 100ml bottle and um, I will need to trim that because it's way too long. But um, yeah, a lovely little spritzer bottle is what you'll need for your body spray. Okay, so I'm going to make a lovely sort of feminine um, girly um, body spray, but you use whatever oils you like, okay? Mix it up, try different ones. If you try it once and you think, oh, that's okay, but I'll do something else next time, then yeah, mix it up. So I'm going with some Whisper. Now Whisper is our blend for women, and this is so nice. I often just use this one as my, my perfume on my bracelets. Uh, it has got fractionated coconut oil, patchouli, bergamot, Hawaiian sandalwood, rose, um, jasmine, and ylang ylang. So it's just a beautiful feminine blend. So I'm going to put 15 drops of Whisper into my bottle. Fifteen drops of whisper, and then I'm going to put some ylang ylang. I'll do fifteen drops of ylang ylang as well. And then I thought I'd try some elevation. Might just do five drops of elevation as well. So nice. Okay, then we need a tablespoon of our witch hazel. <clears throat> mm, this is going to be interesting. I'm probably going to spill it. Like I said, this helps to um, disperse. Yeah, this is going to spill. <laughs> oh no. I surprised myself. <laughs> Didn't spill a drop. Um, and then we just top it up with our um, cooled, boiled or purified water. And then you have got a beautiful um, body spray. Now you can spray this like, you know, on your neck, pulse points, wherever, and also give a nice little spritz on your clothes. Now I'm just going to um, trim this. Did I grab my scissors? I thought I did. Okay, I'm not going to trim it because I don't know where my scissors are. But I'm going to trim that off because this is way too long. It 
will fit, but it's not right. <laughs> so I'll trim that little um, hose off and make it fit perfectly. But that's it. Beautiful, beautiful body spray. Put your little labels on if you want to. I'll just... Um... Oh, it smells so good. I love your Lang Ylang. Beautiful. So a lovely, lovely alternative to those, you know, aerosol um, body spray things that they sell at the supermarket full of artificial fragrances and chemicals and things that are really not good for you at all. And they're not good for the environment either. So this will save you lots of money. I know it seems like, you know, a big expense at the start getting oils, but once you've got them, they're going to last you a long time and it will literally cost you cents to make something like that up. Okay. There's about 250 drops of oil in our um, 15 ml bottles, so they're going to last you a long, long time. And um, for me, I think the most important thing now is trying to get rid of the chemicals and, and toxins from our house. I'm really, really passionate about that. So if you would like to make the switch, if you're ready to, um, yeah, I mean, that's so easy to whip up, isn't it? And it smells absolutely beautiful. Um, if you're ready to make the switch to some more natural products, then please um, reach out, send me a message or comment below and I will be in touch with you. I'd love to help you get started and, um, and help you to make some beautiful natural products with your essential oils. Thank you for watching everybody and I will see you later. Have a good day. Bye.